I just started uh, started building the uh, 2020 Castle kit, and just so you guys know, pro tip: this bag right here, it's got all these. It's got a bunch of plastic pieces, not 3D printed plastic, just regular plastic. Um, just so you know, all of, there's a bunch of little tiny parts in this bag, just like free floating. So when you open up the bag, don't dump it all out because there's a bunch of little tiny parts in here that just go flying everywhere. So be prepared when you go to open up that bag that there's uh, there's stuff in them. Yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. Just a little update. I've uh, finished putting the bottom assembly together and the top assembly, and I'm about to uh, start moving on from there. Um, another pro tip, these little screws or bolts, I should say. Blurry. Yeah, these all around, that's like how the whole thing's assembled with um, T-nuts. Yeah, it's really, really complicated to put them in. I have really big hands and I don't have the exact right uh, Allen key right now. I've been kind of using some Torx bits and all that, that kind of work and all that, but it's fine. Um, this is really strong, it seems to be working out really well, so I'll see where I go from here. Alrighty, thanks for enjoying another update. It's now tall. This thing is really tall, I just, I wasn't expecting that. My brother. Yeah, it's really tall, so cool. So don't mind the drumming in the background, but, or the singing. Um, I've noticed that at this part right here, you need to cut these uh, rods, it says with a hacksaw blade, into 30 millimeter sections and then install them into these little tie rod things. So um, I've been cutting mine uh, with some calipers just measuring it and then just using regular wire cutters because it's a really thin rod. So one thing that I've noticed that might help you in installing them into these tie rods because they're not really that easy is to take a small drill or any really drill and just chuck it into the end, just enough. And then let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is terrible lighting, but it'll have to do. You have the drill, and you put this uh, the rod into the drill, and then just take this little tie rod end, and then just put it right on there, and then slowly let the drill, put it on drill, slowly let the drill thread its way on, it's not perfect, but it actually works pretty well. So now this thing's threaded on there. Another pro tip. Another build log. It's starting to get a little dark here. Um, this thing is assembled still. I got these uh, tie rod assembly things done. Um, if you're building one of these, just so you know, um, if you have the exact same parts that I have, the uh, tie rods, then the size you need to cut this um, carbon fiber rod to is, what is it? Uh, 19 centimeters or 190 millimeters. Cause you want the total length from the uh, ball of the tie rod to the other one to be 240 millimeter. And from the edge of the tie rod to the ball is 25 millimeter. So 25 and 25 is 50. Um, 240 subtract 50 gives you 190. I'm pretty sure that math is right. I'm not really thinking. So that's what that is right there. So now this is all super glued up. I'm just going to let this dry for a wee bit and uh, start building the extruder. So yeah, I'll see you there. Oh, I do have uh, these things done too. So I don't really know how this printer like works. I've never really thought about the uh, like the construction and all that. I've never really looked at one of these castles before, so that's gonna be fun. Anyway, okay, see you later. Build log, hour eight or something. Um, got the ramps mounted. Uh, I, I took a break to eat dinner and I've been taking it kind of slow. A couple of these parts are really like tricky to put together, especially the, uh, all that nonsense, that whole thing. It took a good hour and a half to actually put together. It's not that it's hard, it's just the, the parts are so tight tolerances every, every, yeah. the parts are so tight of tolerances 
It's very difficult to uh, get some things together correctly. Ooh, look at that. Action shot. Dun, dun, dun. More to come. Well, it's the next day. It's been uh, more or less 24 hours since I uh, got the thing in the mail. And it's all built and everything actually does work to some degree. Like it actually will... Um, Wrap it to your host. It will auto level and everything. Um, I can lower everything and such. Um, the only thing I'm screwing around with right now is the actual software to get everything to work. Uh, I know my camera work is not good right now, but I'm not paying attention. <laughs> so uh, I'm just trying to get everything worked out and you know actually making some sort of sense to get it to work. So um, yeah, let's see how it goes. alive. I magically got everything working for no reason. Like, I don't know how that works, but it works. <laughs> Focus. There we go. I'm happy now. Another low quality update. It looks really, really good. I literally just hit... I, I just got some settings and wasn't sure if it would work and just hit print and it actually worked. It went down to uh, as far down as it should. It, it The auto leveling feature worked. I did have to add some custom g-code for that. I'll uh, put more info on that in another video. But um, seems to be working. The quality on this is probably not going to work but the quality on this is really nice. Like it looks better than my Prusa. Of course this is like solid aluminum framing, whereas the Prusa, the acrylic frame is very, very wobbly, so, you know, it's, it always has a little bit of play, but this looks really freaking good, so, yes, I'm really happy. I still need to adjust the, uh, the actual height of the first layer, um, you can kind of, me probably can't see that, but there's, um, it, it printed a little too high, so it didn't quite stick as well as it should have, but, that's easy to adjust, that's just normal stuff. So yeah, anyway. So it's done. It's got a couple flaws here and there, but it actually looks really good. There's not as much uh, like banding as on the Prusa. The model is also not the most perfect model in the world, but it looks really, really good. Let's see where uh, it wasn't extruding right at the very beginning, but Hey, it looks really good. First print, first print, first bit of, this is the first bit of, of filament that came out of this printer, and this is what it made, so. I didn't even do any test prints or anything. Cool.